God, our Father, we thank you, we honor you, we praise you. There's nobody like you, God, all by yourself. Nobody to compare you to. We thank you for your mercy, your grace, and for your power. Now in these fleeting moments, Lord, as I come to declare the words that you have sown into my heart, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. Hide me behind the cross. Let no flesh glorify in thy sight. Send the anointing to destroy the yoke of the devil and set the captive free, and we be so careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, and it shall be so in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Philippians 4, Philippians 4, chapter 4, verse 19. Philippians 4, verse 19. I visited this text 20 years ago, and I'm going to visit it again today, 19 years ago. I'm going to visit it again today because it's just been on my heart this week in the nursing home and roundabout. Amen. I can't say cooking my own breakfast because we're reading going, I didn't eat, I hardly didn't eat. Amen. Thank God. Somebody made me a chocolate cake. Thank you, Sir Says. Soccer toss. Thank you. To all our graduates, we're looking forward to acknowledge you. Amigo is out of town. Amen. And family union and Ella Sampleton, his son is graduating right now. At this moment, which we could have been there to all the graduates. We love you with the love of God. So many are gone, but we're going to carry on today. Is that all right? Amen. 17 words. I want to talk about 17 words that can transform your life. 17 words. If you grasp these 17 words, your life shall never be the same. If you grasp these 17 words and believe it in your heart and stay in God's will, God will do great things for you. These 17 words is from Philippians 4 19 says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Repeat that with me. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now I want you to take a look at the screen. Hope you can see it. You may have to turn down the lights. I want them to see it. And then I want you to remember it because I'll be coming back to this very brief note. All you Boston Celtics fans, I'm sorry for you. So Malone doesn't see him. He comes from the blind side and strips him. So three crucial plays here by Michael Jordan now as he gets Brian Russell with a quick crossover. Look at Brian Russell slips. And Michael pulls up and buries the shot to give him a one-point lead. That may have been, who knows what will unfold in the next several months, but that may have been the last shot Michael Jordan will ever take in the NBA. Watch Jordan's left hand here as he gives Russell the push. And referee can't see that. Jordan frees himself up for a clean look. The greatest thing about Jordan is all he right. has all... All right, thank you. How many people remember seeing that? Y'all remember seeing that? Michael just standing there extended. Y'all remember that? All right, remember that later, okay? Amen. But my God shall supply. You be seated. I won't be long. I'm going to cut this down to five minutes. But my God shall supply all you need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I want you to catch these 17 words. If you catch these 17 words, God will bless you. God will do great things for you. This is this verse is first cousin to Philippians 4 and 13, which says, I can do all things where? Through Christ would strengthen in me. But you catch these 17 words, but my God shall supply all you need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now we know we all go through through things. You see me today cry. God gave me tear ducts because he meant for me to cry. And I'm supposed to cry because that is my mother. Amen. And I love my soul. I'm crying. Going to cry again. Amen. But there's times in our life when we just need to say, but. The devil gets us to a place where we can't go any further. We need to say, okay, you took taking me to task, but. But there's something after that's going to happen. When you look at the children of Israel, 
when they were there to water on one side and Pharaoh on the other. Amen. But Moses said, but my God, amen. And God cleared it and let him go. Can you imagine how David felt? Even though he went out with the smooth stones and the slingshot, Goliath said, I'm just going to tear you apart. But God had another plan. You got to recognize the things in my life and in your life when I was sick. But God had a plan. But but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. And then when you look at the next word, but my God. My God, that makes it personal, does it? Amen. When he's yours, that is personal. When you just look at the 23rd song, he said, the Lord is. Oh, that, that's really personal, is it? The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Amen. The Bible also says he leads me beside what? The still water. Then he said he restored. Don't you know he will restore you? He restores my soul. And he's so good, he said, I prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy. And then he said, he'll let, that's personal, your cup runneth over. And then it says, surely goodness and mercy shall follow. That's personal, isn't it? He shall follow me all the days of. And I'll dwell in the house of the Lord. I tell you, God is good. But you got to remember, but my God, he's good. In the 27th Psalm that they read today, said the Lord is, he's my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of Oh, you got to make it personal. It's a personal situation. And that's why your relationship with God is a personal relation. I'm so glad that my God forgives me. I'm so glad that my God sustains me. I'm so glad that my God anoints me. I'm so glad that God, my God, that I made this personal will let me cry and then wipe the tears away. I'm so glad my God, amen, to sustain me when everybody walk away because I've got a personal relationship. My God, but my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I'm so glad that I know my God. I'm so glad that he is my personal savior. I'm so glad that mama don't have to pray for me anymore, but I can pray for myself. I'm glad she prayed and introduced me to church, introduced me to God, but right now it's my God. I have a personal relationship because I was trained up in the church but now it's my God I used to serve him and sing in the choir because daddy and mama made me but I sing because I'm happy now I sing because I'm free I'm seeing because now I got a relationship I recognize who God is what he does how powerful he is how he makes a way for me how he opens doors for me and I'm so glad that he is my God but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus somebody say he my God I'm done but then he said he shall supply all my need don't you know the Lord shall supply God's got a warehouse with everything we need in it he shall supply all our needs and every time you see shall in the Bible it's a promise to us and I come by to tell you oh God shells are loaded it will explode in prosperity they will explode and give you good health but you got to catch a hold of these 17 words that but my God shall supply all you need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus I'm glad that there's some needs that I have that God has supplied why because my God shall supply all my needs. Can you catch these 17 words? Uh, and then the Bible says, uh, according to his riches in glory. Solomon said, there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. But I came by to tell you that God, God's got a warehouse that's called his riches in glory. And his riches in glory is on top of the sun. So that means God's got some new stuff for you. God shall supply all your needs uh, according to his riches in glory. Uh, there's nothing new under the sun. Uh, but his riches in glory is over the sun. Uh, but my God shall supply all your needs uh, according to his riches in glory. Uh, I want to know if anybody wants some new stuff. Uh, you can have some new stuff. Uh, how many people need a new anointing? Uh, how many people need a new start? Uh, how many people need new encouragement? Uh, but my God shall supply. Uh, you got to catch these 17 words. Uh, you got to hang on this thing. Uh, my God, not might, but the Bible says he shall supply. Uh, he'll supply all you need. Uh, and then he'll give you some things you want. Uh, he said, beloved, I wish you'd be in good health uh, and that you would prosper. I'm come by to tell you, uh, this is a prosperity gospel. Uh, God will give you what you need. Uh, if you stay in God's will, uh, 
God will open up the windows of heaven. Um, he said, if you are faithful in your tithing, uh, he said, I'll open up the windows of heaven um, and I'll pour you out blessings uh, that you won't even be able to receive. Uh, but my God shall supply uh, all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Lift your hands and say, glory. done years ago when I preached this message some of you may remember me. I wasn't even pastor I was on my way on vacation and my father called me Reed and I were going to Wisconsin a few days and said you got to preach because I don't feel good and I sung a song to him I'll never forget I said this is my story this is my song I'm on vacation two weeks long he's a boy you better come preach <laughs> I'll never forget that but when the Lord gave me this message, 17 words, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory. When I got there, I thought I was finished. I really thought, Lord, thank you, and I'm going to try to deliver this. But the Lord said there's three words left. By Christ Jesus. You remember Michael standing there? We got to see him make that last shot. And the Lord said, you remember Michael making that last shot? I remember. We were jumping all over the place, my sons and I, because they had repeated the three-peat. But he says, uh, do you remember the commercial? Do you remember Chevy? Do you remember Nike? One paying no attention to the commercial. But he said, they paid the price so that you could see the story. Uh, they paid the price uh, so that you could see Michael. Uh, they paid the price uh, so you could see the victory. Uh, and I come by to tell you uh, those last three words uh, by Christ Jesus.